Welcome to the second lecture of the set of presentations describing the RM software for filter design. In this presentation, physical realization will be discussed and the content of the re presentation is related to this description, a short description of how the RM software is creating parallel infinite impulse response digital filters obtained by bilinear transformation, parallel realization of switched capacitor version of analog filters, again obtained by bilinear transform, parallel realization of active RC circuits, cascade realization of active RC circuits, and passive LC or LCR cascade realization. Digital filters within the RM software are restricted to impu infinite impulse response filters obtained by bilinear, bilinear transform from their analog counterparts. The final result is presented in a form of 8, 16, 32, or 64 bit resolution. The program delivers the transfer function, the polynomial coefficients of the digital transfer function with 8, 16, 32 bit approximation of the pole zero locations, and a schematic which in fact resembles very much to the one depicted on the right hand side here. Next, we will present here the parallel realization of switched capacitor filters, which are also obtained by bilinear transform. Uh, in this picture, the structure of the filter is presented and as one can see an analog source is conceived which is followed by sample and hold circuit and then a, a parallel set of cells driving a summing amplifier is used to uh, realize the transfer function of the filter. In this presentation here, in this circuit here, the anti-aliasing filter is not presented. Here is the Haiku switched capacitor BigWad, which is used by the RM software. It is usual and there are no exceptions in this implementation. Uh, the RM software, when a parallel realization of switched capacitor filters is concerned, delivers the transfer function, which are polynomial coefficient and pole zero location in both normalized, normalized prototype S and transformed denormalized Z domains schematic with capacitance values in a form of an HTML file and SPICE code for time domain simulation in which non-ideal non switches are implemented which may affect the simulation run and partly the results obtained. As for the active RC filters, 
two versions are available within the RM software. Here is a schematic which represents the parallel realization. Uh, it, the, here the analog source is driving the par set of parallelly connected cells which are uh, driving the summing circuit producing the output signal. The advantage of the parallelization is that th uh, the gain of a single cell is also accumulated from the source to the output, which uh, may not be the case in, in cascade where the gains may accumulate uh, to, to, to lead to, to nonlinear distortions. Something similar stands for the noise. Here is the Tau Thomas Bigfoot cell, which is usually used in the RM, RM software. <clears throat> in the case of parallel realization of the acti active RC version, uh, deliver deliverables are the transfer function, polynomial coefficients and pole zero location in a normalized S domain, schematic with element values in a form of HTML file, and the SPICE code for frequency domain simulation. Of course, with small, small changes, the user may transfer, transform this SPICE code into uh, one which will perform time domain simulation. Uh, the cascade realization of active RC circuits is also available within the, the RM software. Uh, here is the structure of the final solution. Uh, one have to have in mind that uh, a, a thorough analysis of the, of the um, properties of the transfer function and the cells is performed and uh, uh, the, the best uh, order of the cells is uh, extracted uh, so to, to minimize the nonlinear distortions and noise. Here is one example of a large, a large variety of different cells are available uh, within this, uh, this program. Uh, here is one example of a symmetric notch cell uh, uh, which is may be used within the, within the RM software if if such a function becomes necessary uh, during the synthesis process the deliverables uh, in this case are the transfer function, polynomial coefficient and pole zero locations in the normalized S domain, schematic and element values in a form of a HTML file, and SPICE code for frequency domain simulation, which as we said, may be easily transformed into time domain simulation. And finally, uh, passive LC or LCR cascade realization is uh, available. Here is the structure structure of the of the final uh, circuit. Uh, the cells contain only a reactive element LC. Uh, so the R elements are the source resistor and the load resistors. Uh, the program automatically creates the schematic and uh, here are the notation used to create the node, nodes within the schematic. 
he is one example of a cascade of a, a sixth order or so of a filter which has two transmission zeros at the imaginary axis and one pair of complex transmission zeros. In this case, the deliverable is also a transfer function, polynomial coefficients and pole zero location in the normalized A's domain, schematic and element values in a form of HTML file. Uh, one should have in mind here that for mm, many cases in cascade synthesis, there are alternatives which lead to different structure of the cells, some of them containing transformers or not, and so on and so on. So uh, uh, this report, uh, which is given in the form of the HTML file, for every cell uh, uh, reports all variants so that the user uh, may use any of them uh, according to the technology or, or the uh, experience he has, while uh, the SPICE code is created for one version per, per cell, so practically uh, uh, a reduced number of cells are in the SPICE code, uh, the, the user is, if not satisfied, is expected to substitute these cells by the ones given in the HTML file. And that would be the short story on the physical realization part of the RM software for filter design. Thank you for the attention.